For me, RJ is, um, is a playmaker. He's really smart, competitive, comes to work every day. He's always been a good scorer, good getting fouled, putting pressure on the defense, going downhill. He's a killer on the court, but you know, the type of person he is with his family and his friends and strangers is incredible. When you have all that combined, then you have RJ. I'm RJ's godfather. His father and I, Rowan, grew up playing on the national team together from the time we were teenagers all the way through playing the Olympics in 2000 in Sydney and, and beyond for the national team. Uncle Steve, he, he's just always been there and he's so like down to earth. It's kind of crazy. Like I know people think that like everything's related to basketball, but there's more life stuff. I've probably got more out of being his godfather than he has, and that's not the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Conversations that I've been having with Uncle Steve lately is keep going and keep pushing. He knows that once you get here, it's hard. He needs to continue to grow as a shooter. Over the last three, four years, you look at where he started to where he is today, he's getting better. His technique looks great. You know, his rhythm is improving. He's still, like, you know, like a, a young man who's growing. I look forward in a sense for him to struggle and see how he approaches the struggle. You're playing in, in the garden, you're playing for the Knicks, it comes with a heavy burden. He's the type of kid that's built for this, but to see him handle those moments, that's what's gonna make him tough. The biggest thing I wanted to give RJ to get him ready for the, the next level was really two things. A great work ethic and intensity every time you step on the court. First time I walked into Montverde Academy's campus, I was just a little scrawny kid coming from Canada. And obviously, I watched Zoe 101. So when I saw the campus and I saw how beautiful it was, I thought, we about to have a party up here. Like, <laughs> it's about to be great. It was, I was in for a rude awakening. I don't remember the first time I drilled it on RJ because it probably happened uh, a number of times to get him to work harder. We put him with the post-grad team. He wasn't quite ready to get playing time on the varsity, and I think he took that challenge. The biggest thing I learned there was that I'm not that good, and I had to work my way up. In Canada, it was easy. I was killing everybody at that time. So really a part of my killer mentality came from going to Montverde. The killer instinct came out and I'm like, that sophomore to his reclass senior year, it really blew up that, you know, he was at the 20 yard line trying to get to college, trying to get to the NBA, and he knew he was close. I think RJ's very focused. I know he's gonna keep working and keep growing his game. And he obviously he's gotta be respectful of the process and of veterans, but not too respectful where he doesn't cement himself fairly early and, you know, slowly, but not too slowly, develop a leadership role with the Knicks. Very unique situation with RJ because he reclassified. We got on it right away because uh, we wanted him, no matter what year he was coming. Let's go! Mr. Krzyzewski, go. Greatest to ever do it. Part of the reason I feel like for me being drafted so high is because I played for a coach that let me show my ability. When you get somebody uh, as talented as RJ, you can't put him in a box. You don't have just one position for him. He has to have the ability to uh, follow his instincts. For me, I, I just wanted for his year here to treat everything like a pro. His commitment to going to school, like those are appointments, how you deal with the press, the media, how you train. RJ's really ahead of a lot of kids that leave after one year. And I, I credit a lot of that to his parents. Rowan and Keisha are, are exceptional, not, not good, they're exceptional. They brought him up 
with love, support, and guidance. And RJ received all those things. Three great men in my life, and they've helped my game get to the next level, I would say. And I can't forget Coach Terry Upshaw, Coach Mark Warren, and Coach Dwayne Washington. I feel like if I didn't meet them, I would still be good, but I wouldn't be the player I am right now. Next on, made different. I'm drafted, I'm in LA, back on my grind. I was just worried about summer league. I hadn't played a game since, you know, March Madness, so I'm, I'm just excited to just start playing again.